Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to episode 141 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode... Right. In the last episode... Okay, I need to explain to say what's in the last... What happened in the last episode. I'm trying to get every CJ and Flip model so every time the month changes, creatures go away, so I stockpile those creatures. One of those creatures that is going away is the seaweed, and <sighs> like that. I didn't get any seaweed. I was able to catch a gigas giant clam and a giant isopod, but no seaweed. I even got, and I got like, so much anemone. I hate the anemone. Anyway, um, and the other two creatures that were going away, I couldn't find either. But don't worry, I found those off screen, cause yeah, I just. It was pretty boring. Anyway, uh, in this episode, uh, there's a new update. So yeah, we're going to do a lot of new update stuff. Anyway, today's birthday is Frank. Yeah, whatever. There's a new update! Hello there, everyone. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. I'll get into that later. Right now in Jacktown, it's 12.58 p.m. on Thursday, July 30th, 2020. Hmm. Really hasn't any news to speak of today. Why do, why do you sound so sad, Isabel? Oh. Uh-oh. I don't think I charged my phone last night. What'll I do if there's an emergency? Oh! So, great. Just what we needed for a new update. More dialogue for Isabel that is going to become repetitive. Uh, oh dear. I guess that doesn't really qualify as news, does it? Yeah, and you're just sitting in the chair 99% of your yeah, life, that. so I'll get back to work supporting you and your You don't of our you don't really need to worry about that. Anyway, um yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff that I'll go over in just 1 second. And uh but, but before we do that, any of that, um Oh, oh, so we have something that has to do with the new update in the mail. Anyway, but first, Nintendo, thank you for downloading the update, yada, yada, yada. Let's see what they gave me. Oh, and the time just changed. Anyway, they gave me a fireworks show wall. Anyway, before we put that up, how... Well, that, that kind of leads into something else. There are firework shows every Sunday in August, but it's not August yet, so... Yeah, we can't do those today. But we'll also get something from Luna. Now, Luna is going to be an important character in this update. Anyway, let's read her letter. Dear Dreamer, I am certain many memories of your island are dear to you. What if you could share those memories in the form of a pleasant dream? You can and it is as easy as falling asleep in your bed. Sleep well, Luna. So yeah, this is, I'll go over to what this is after, in a second, but let's just see what they, she gave me. Luna's bed. Anyway, let's, let's see what this looks like. Um, it's, it's nice, but I'm, I kind of prefer my bed, you know? Anyway, let's check out this fireworks wall. And then we'll, uh, do the thing with Luna after we've done our daily chores. Oh yeah, other than the fireworks show and the Luna, uh, there is still, there, like, wait, wait, first, first, I gotta check out this fire show wall. Aw, I thought it was gonna be, like, actual fireworks, like, coming up on the wall. But no, it, they're just frozen in place. Eh, I, I prefer the underwater wall. Anyway, um... Uh... So there are, yeah, the two things... The two main things are the firework shows and the Luna thing that we'll get into later. But there are also some smaller features like a new DIY recipe for a King Tut mask. And... New things to do with your camera. So, yeah, I'm not gonna go over this. But what you can basically do is, um, uh, how do you do this? Oh. Now, you can use your camera without, 
um, all those like annoying like things that tell you how to use the camera all around. So you can just have still shots in um, with the camera without having to deal with all that stuff, which is a really good feature, and it's going to be very useful for when, uh, well, not very useful, but it's going to be really fun when I go into the museum and, like, look into the tanks, and I could actually see them without having to deal with all that sort of stupid stuff. Oh, right, I bought that, uh, ping pong table, and now there's a, uh, ping pong match between a giant isopod and a teddy bear in my backyard or front yard whatever it looks so cool I had to buy it anyway first I want to I want to catch this ribbon eel first so yeah ribbon eel I don't know why I wanted to catch it and now let's do our daily chores and then we'll do the Luna thing anyway uh did they change something like the angle with this I don't know there's just a lot of things that I'm wait let's see is red here today no red is not here today anyway the reason I went into here really was to see if there's a new song and wandering I don't think this is new I'm gonna check just in case and it looks like a label is here two weeks in a row my least favorite character that can come to your island. Um, anyway, wandering. Yeah, I already do have wandering. Anyway, let's go to the store. And then we'll check for our villager crafting, and that's basically my daily chores. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I forgot to mention, but uh, I did get the last honeybee and the last tadpole. So yeah, we're done with that now. And like seaweed, I don't really need it. I mean like, you currently you cannot make models out of sea creatures. I was just doing it just in case and it's coming back in October, so that's still not too bad. Anyway, we have a boxing ring, a toilet, and uh, Welcome sign. Okay, uh, what does Goose have to say? A standing toilet? Well, the early chicken catches the worm, and I'm all about my early workouts, bug man. How does this have to do about workouts? Right, right, all right. I, I want to buy this toilet even though I have a bunch of them. Sorry, Goose, I'm earlier. Oh, he looks surprised about that. Yo, Spud, does your jog route go through here? No. What's the latest? I'm trying to remember what I got here yesterday. I think I only bought it because it was heavy. Okay, I was just checking if he was going to get mad at me because I bought his toilet that he wanted. Yeah, a weird, a weird thing. <laughs> Why would he want a toilet? Anyway, um, August is coming soon, like tomorrow is the last day of July. Anyway, um, what to do? Oh, right, oh, there's a, um, uh, a bird on the bulletin board, which means there's a new thing. Okay, what's this? Uh, upcoming firework shows, yeah! Um, so they even, uh, uh, reference this. I mean... Of course they reference this, but, like, uh, they even, uh, are talking about it now, even though it's not even August yet. Upcoming firework shows, I hope you'll all join us every Sunday in August for a firework, for a fireworks show. We'll get things started at 8 p- I mean, not 8, what am I thinking? 7 p.m. when it's dark enough. Come and join in the fun, hmm? Yes, yes. I think this was Tom Nook saying that, but- yeah. Cool. 
Anyway, uh, let's check for our villager crafting, and then we'll finally do the Luna thing, which is really exciting, actually. And I, I don't know if we can actually do this, though. Oh, it's Nate crafting! Come on, last time he was crafting, he was crafting a golden arowana. Please craft the golden dung. Be crafting the golden dung beetle Check now. Me out! I'm doing stuff. What are you doing? I'm making me a matryoshka. Like he made that like a like didn't he? Like he already made one of those. So. One of the bugs on the floor whispered that he had yeah, instructions in my ear while he was yeah. sleeping last night. Last I night. Build it before I forget what it even is. What? You already know how to make a matryoshka? Doesn't everyone? That's real cool. You're always on top of things, and I'm usually stuck under them. I want to tell everybody about the Matryoshka, so I scribbled down the recipe. If you know anyone that wants to know how to make it, can you hand them this note? Well, maybe apologize for the crease I smudged on the middle part. Okay, I'll, I'll give this. I'll give this one to assistant. <laughs> It'd be great if a bunch of folks made a Matryoshka. Anyway, I see why uh, the bugs like his bed so much. It's basically a pile of logs. <laughs> Bye, Nate. Anyway, there was one thing I wanted to check, and that is my toy area. Because there are... The fireworks show brings some new toys, and I want to put them in the toy area, And I, but I first uh, want to actually see if they would fit. So yeah, I have to go there. Just to scope things out a little. Oh right, the new incline is here. Whoa, how fancy. Anyway, is there any room in here for, say, four things? So, yeah. Doesn't look like it, but I can always expand the place. I mean, it's, it's my place. I can expand it. Anyway, uh, like, there are four new toys that you can get, uh, during the, uh, uh, fireworks show. Those toys are the, uh, there's a bubble wand, a tweeter, a uh, uh, a pinwheel, and a fan. I guess the fan isn't considered. Wait, now that I know, I'm not include going to include the fan because uh, it's not really a toy. Um, let's see if it would fit now. Uh, if I move this back. But I have to move this centipede. That's okay. And if I move this back, then. Um, oh no, I couldn't fit, uh, uh, I couldn't fit back there so I could grab them and actually play with them. Oh, I didn't mean to put, I don't want to put the standy toilet in the play area. Anyway, uh, where should I put them? Maybe I should just expand onto this way, because there's still plenty of, the s of space for when I get my robot hero, and yes, this is where I want to put it. So yeah, a lot of space there that I could put all my toys. The bubble wand, the tweeter, and the uh, pinwheel. Yeah, so there are a lot of cool firework items, including those toys, the balloons, sparklers, actual fireworks that you can light. I guess they're, they're, yeah, they're ground fireworks, but they're still fireworks. Anyway, so, yeah, the thing that we can do with Luna has to be inside my house. Now, you don't have to l use Luna, like, it, ha it has to do with laying in a bed. It doesn't have to do with laying in Luna's bed, It could lay you can lay in any bed. But I'm guessing they just gave you Luna's bed in case you didn't have a bed. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my bed for this. Now, it asks me if I... Should I get some sleep? Yeah, I want to sleep. You look very cool, but you'll have to undo your trans... Are you kidding me? Like... I can't use my wand outfits in here. Like, there's so many rules in this game. Anyway... Uh, I want to look presentable uh, for for this thing, so I should take off some of the clothes I don't need. Um, I don't need this. 
And I don't need the glasses. Like, I want to look good. Actually, this is ridiculous. Like, I, I don't need to just change my... Wait, no, I didn't mean to go in that mode. I don't just need to take off some stuff. I need to... Like, if I'm going to sleep, I have to, like, get whole new clothes. Because of, uh... This, this uh, stuff I'm wearing doesn't look really comfortable. Anyway, what would be good to sleep in? Blossom tea, I guess. Anyway, no backpack. No shoes. None of this business. Wait, what? What? Do I have any pajama pants? Oh, wait. Uh, the frog tea is more of a pajama thing. Anyway, um, uh, is there any more stuff? Like, where are the pants? I need, uh, pants for, um, okay, what? Oh, these, these would be perfect. Like, this is my sleepy outfit now. But there's one more thing that I need for a sleepy outfit, and that is, of course, an eye mask. You know, yeah, the, I'll use the Dell one. Boom. So, yeah, now I can proper... Oh, I meant to put away my wand. Ugh, I forgot you can't do that in your house. Anyway, um, I'll put away these glasses and the, and the toilet because I think that it'll be uncomfortable in my pockets. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is a more appropriate clothes to go to sleep in. Actually, no, just lie down. There's one more thing I need to do, and that is. Turn off all the lights. I know I'm taking this way too seriously, but I I I I I, I want to take it seriously. Okay. Uh, wait. <laughs> I gotta close the windows. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting really into this. The concept of me sleeping. Just one more second, guys. Wait. Is the other window closed? No, the under window is open. This is... Oh, that's bad. I, anyway, I need to turn this off. And, uh... You know what? I can just pick this up. Why don't I need to go through this entire thing? Golden slingshot back down. Oh, it looks so weird in my inventory. Anyway, uh... I need to turn the music off. Because that's not going to help anyone. Sleep. Anyway, pick up my bed so I can... Turn this off. And I forgot the TV, too. Like, how am I supposed to sleep with the TV on? I know I'm taking this way too seriously, but y y you gotta have a good sleep. Like, this is my first ever time sleeping. I have to have a make it a good one. And oh, this is on, too. Wait, is this on? No, it's just naturally bright. Anyway, now we're ready for sleeping. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, I want to sleep. Ooh, purple. Oh, what's happening? Oh, the face cam magically disappeared. Oh, and look at my bed in this. <laughs> this looks. Oh. Oh, that's Luna. That is Luna. I don't know what she is. If I'm not mistaken, you are from Jacktown, yes? You must be the famous Jack. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, it looks so weird, this whole mystical world and my badly drawn fish on the sheets. And I'm not even under the sheets. Good guess. Hmm. Few dream as pleasantly as those from Jacktown. Forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. My name is Luna. Think of me as a guide to the Library of Dreams. The, the Library of Dreams? A dream is but a manifestation of a memory that one holds dear, then chooses to upload to the internet. That's that's funny. My role is to ferry travelers between dreams, allowing one such as you to tour the islands of distant strangers. Once within the dream of another, it will be as though you have actually set foot on their island. Sounds fascinating, does it not? To visit another's dream, merely say to me, I want to dream. 
Whoa, my face cam is magically back. So yeah, you're. I think for this you're gonna need like something called a dream code, and I'm just gonna put random numbers and letters in and hope for the best. <laughs> This need not be a one-way matter either. If you wish, I can collect your dream of Jacktown as well. Then I will spirit your dream through channels of fiber optics to live in the library and be shared with the world. Okay. Put simply to share your dream of Jacktown with others. Tell me, I'd like to share a dream. Well, now that we have the introductions out of the way... How may I be of assistance? I would like to share my dream of Jacktown. Of course, but before we continue, there is some important information you will need to read first. Reading in my dream? Come on! Important info on sharing dreams. When you share a dream of your island, other players, including ones you don't know, will be able to visit a version of your island. This means the data about your island and its residents, captured at the time the dream is shared, will be made public. This data includes your name, your passport info for all residents, the look of your entire island, rooms in homes, your custom designs, any bulletin board posts, and more. I understand. All done. From here it is simple. First I will form your memory of Jack okay. Town into a dream. <laughs> this is good, but... Why did they say put the warnings after you've 100% said you want to share your dream? Because now she's just saying, here are the warnings, but I'm still doing your dream anyway. Then I will connect to the internet to upload your dream to the library. Oh, there is something else you may be interested to know. Visitors to your dream may bring back any design that is on display in your custom designs portal. Check your custom designs portal before uploading your dream to see which designs will be made available. Try thinking of those designs as Jacktown souvenirs. Okay. My, my bed sheet. Enough explanations. I shall now collect and compile your memory of Jacktown. Are you ready? Oh, so they do give you a warning. Okay. I'm ready. Splendid. I shall now connect to the internet. And the Library of Dreams. Connecting to the internet. We are online, people! I am in. And now I shall collect and compile your cherished memory of Jacktown into a dream. Okay. Close your eyes. Picture what you love most about Jacktown. Relax. Relax. Oh, I'm sleepy. Oh. 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 Wow. There, the dream of load is now complete. Each bite now reclines in its new home. Well done. Your dream of Jacktown is filed under the dream address DA6454716203313. Gotta take a picture of that. To share your dream with others, simply give them the dream address. Again, it is DA6454716203313. Take an extra picture just in case. Your dream address is currently set to appear on your passport and on your island's map. Ooh, so that's, so that's good. If you do not want your island's dream address displayed on your passport and map, let me know. Lastly, do remember that your dream will not reflect any changes made to Jacktown after an upload. However, as your island develops, its dream can be refreshed if you wish. I can update your dream once per day. I believe that is everything. Thank you for your patience, and may your dream host many happy visitors. May I be of assistance to you in any other way? I want a dream. Of course, of course. But there are a few things I must clarify further before I guide you to your dream. Dreams, like many things these days, are downloaded from the internet. <laughs> a connection is, of course, required. <laughs> oh, just think about, like, it's like this uh, nice, calming character, but talking about the internet every two seconds, so that's not calming. Furthermore, a dream address, an identity unique to each dream, 
is also needed. So before dreaming, be sure you have your desired dream address at the ready. Ooh. Okay, I'll just put in random letters and numbers and hope for the best. Oh, one other wrinkle. Dreams are very fragile things. To prevent the introduction of glitches, you must go empty-handed. Okay. Do not worry, I will happily hold on to your belongings and return them after you wake. I believe that covers everything. Now, are you ready to link with the Library of Dreams? Yes, I am. I'll try it. Then I shall connect to the internet to initialize a dream download. What is the dream address for your desired dream? Uh, assistant, could you look up a dream address? Because now that I'm thinking about it, it might be bad to just type in random numbers. Okay, so DA slash, um... This isn't an actual dream address. I'm just playing around while I wait. Okay, you know what? I'm actually just going to try this. See if this works. Okay. Confirm. Just random numbers. Thank you. One moment whilst I browse the library of dreams. Connecting to the internet again? I thought we just did that. My apologies, but there is no dream filed to that dream address. Ah. Uh, let's try again! Okay, uh. Let's, let's just try until we get something. Uh, and you know what? No, no. I'm not gonna try until we get something. I'm just gonna try one more time. Okay, one more time, and then we'll find an actual dream address. Okay. Uh, there's nobody. Okay, um. Okay. Okay, uh. <laughs> Sorry, this is still experimental, so we, we should have probably found one before the, um before the video. You know what? How about we do this? We'll cut ahead into the episode until we found. Oh, um, never mind. Somebody is sharing their dream address and an assistant found it. Anyway, so that dream address is zero, um, four, nine, zero, then nine, three, Six, two, six, seven, four, eight. So yeah, that's a dream address. We found one. Okay. Okay. So hopefully this one still is up to date. Because there are people that time travel out there. Yeah. Okay. The dream address you provided appears to be for an island called Istau. Is that correct? Um. Yes, it is. I, I don't know. <laughs> Splendid. Then everything is sorted. Please close your eyes and relax. Just imagine if somebody, if the person that owns this ta island is like, Oh, look at the gyroid-like thing. Drift and compile, and emerge within the dream of Istau. Okay, so whoever was on this island, if you're watching this video, then hopefully... Never mind. <laughs> oh, look at the corner. It has the flowers instead of a uh, island. Okay. Oh, it's like a winter. 
Now open your eyes. Um. You are now in a deep slumber, dreaming peacefully of an island named Istau. When you wish to awaken from this dream, you need only lie down in this bed. Oh look, it's a little I will blurry. I take care of the rest. It's a little blurry. Also, should you have any questions or need advice about dreams, please do not hesitate to ask. And with that, may your dream of Istau be a sweet one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't expect to see a, a, a statue there. That, that, that's a fake, by the way. Anyway, uh, this is what it's going to look like in winter. Oh, this is a cool island. Oh, they got the rewards for... This person uh, got the rewards for uh, pocket camp. So, I'm going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! So, yeah, that's uh, what happens... With this this fake painting oh there's a snowflake okay there's so much to see on this island anyway oh they have the purples are you kidding me I don't have the purples anyway the fake version of this statue actually flies but that's not the way you tell because you can't make it fly in uh red's place anyway uh this person has the oh a train set anyway up uh, okay 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 um, this person has the campsite rewards, uh, for, like, uh, Pocket Camp, because that was, a uh, it's a mobile game, Pocket Camp, um, see, so, oh, whoa, that's a nice looking, uh, character up there, and look at all the ice stuff, anyway, uh, Pocket Camp, pop, po Pocket Camp, um, it was a mobile game, and you get to get items from it if you scan with stuff. Oh, different. Oh, there's just so much teacup rides. Another bird. Wait. Um. Oh, I get uh, Nook Miles achievement. Oh, I don't think I can use this app while dreaming. Hopefully, I can use the map. Okay, so we have in her, uh, in this person's island. Oh. Um, we have... Oh, Octavian! Uh... Like, that's a rare, uh, villager type, uh, called an octopus. And it's kind of weird because you can catch octopi. But it's also weird because you can catch frogs. Anyway, it looks like, uh, other than that, a fairly normal cast of characters. But what I want to see is, can I go in the museum and see some of the s their s stuff that you can only get in the southern hemisphere? Looks, wait, can I go in? Yeah. I can. Let's see, uh, uh, let's see some of the Southern Hemisphere stuff. Secrets. Okay, so I'll just quickly run through this, and then I'll be done. Because I don't want to spoil too much. Oh! Wow, look at all those plants. I don't have those. Looks like that's a walker cicada. Like, that's the only cicada I don't have. And it's the only cicada that is in September, and September was the first month for the Southern Hemisphere, technically. Anyway, is there anything else around here? Is there any more? Ooh, that's a new type of dragonfly. Oh, and a damselfly. That's new, too. New for me, at least. Uh, probably very old for the person, this person's island. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to one run through this museum. Oh, so it looks like uh, the scorpion is not alone in here. It has a dung beetle. Oh, that's kind of gross. Oh, oh, I see some new hoppy bugs in here. Migratory locust, long locust. So yeah, th we don't have the migratory locust yet. And I also see um, a, a cricket and a bell cricket. I, we don't have those either. Right, just one run through, qu like, I'm not, um, yeah, everything looks sim similar there. So yeah, it's fun to see a, a museum on the southern, oh, a new butterfly, a uh, monarch. Haven't got one of those yet. Anyway, it's fun to see a museum on the southern hemisphere side of things. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything too different other than that. 
But what I really want to see is the fish exhibit. And all the cool, uh... What you, what you call them? All the diving creatures. Okay, just, 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 just the fish exhibit, and then, uh... We'll properly explore this island. I just want to see the southern hemisphere... Stuff. Oh, wow! Like, this tank that is... In my town, like, only has the sturgeon and the horseshoe crab. Now it doesn't have a horseshoe crab, but it still has a... S oh, that is so disorienting for me. Like, it ha like in my museum, it has a background, and it looks so weird without the background. Anyway, so it has a lot of stuff in this tank. It has a pond smelt, a salmon, a king salmon, a sturgeon, and a mitten crab. Like, look at all that cool stuff. Like, I can't wait until my tank looks like that. Anyway, is there any other stuff down here? There are more plants. Oh, yes, I do see something down there that I don't have. Uh, oh, like two things. Uh, that's it, like a pike. I, d I don't have a pike yet. And, uh, where's, where's the other thing that I see? There, soft shell turtle. In fact, we'll, don't, we're gonna get one of those in August, so it's not too far away for me to get that one. Anyway, uh, let's... Let's go in this room next. It's so weird to see a, such a different uh, museum. Anyway, oh, I was about to say nothing looks too different here, but there is a lot of stuff that's different. Uh, there's a blowfish. And uh, nothing too different over there. And there's also um, a moray eel swimming right there. Oh, and a ray. Um, and over here, oh, there's a Dungeness Crab. I don't have that. Oh, they don't have the Gazami, though. But I don't have the Oyster. Anyway, what's up here? Ooh, another, another. Oh, they don't have the, um, Moon Jellyfish. But they do have a shrimp up there. A sweet shrimp. Looks pretty sweet to me. Okay, anything around here? Oh, yes! A sea cucumber, I'm pretty sure that is. Yep, a sea cucumber. So cool. Oh, and look at that, a lobster! How cool. Just a lobster just sitting there. Look at all those claws. Look at that. Like the, I liked how its claws were moving. That was nice. Anyway, there's one more room, and then I'll properly visit this island and not just the music and not the stuff that... I can see, uh, you know what, never mind. I'm not gonna apologize. Anyway, is there anything different in here? Yes, this area only has, uh, the so this area has actual, actually has less things than mine. So yeah. Is there anything cool down here? No. It's just, uh, it's weird seeing, uh, no ore fish in this tank. But yeah, the barrel eye. That's it's cool to see just the two small ones. Anyway, but yeah, no I was hoping I'd get to see some diving creatures some more diving creatures for in there. Anyway, yeah. It's cool how uh now I can see more uh Oh right, I forgot to look in the big tank. It has uh Hmm. Has a lot of cool stuff, but I already have all this stuff. Anyway, yeah, look, look, we can, uh, now we can turn this stuff off and properly get a better view of it. Cool. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's so cool to see a museum that is so different from mine. So, yeah, <laughs> um, sorry for that. I just, I just, the museum is my favorite part of the entire, of the entire game, so... I just had to check somebody else's museum. Anyway, uh... Yeah, this area is... Whoa! I should have gone up through this area. Because this area is rockin'. Look at that. If the person that made this is watching, you have... Very good decorating skills. Wow, look at this area. And, of course, I don't have any... Oh, but I can just go down here. I, I, anyway, I don't have any 
Oh, it looks. Oh, look, it's the octopus! And uh, the character. So, yeah, the character. Uh, like, if you visited my island, I would just be walking around. So, this character is just walking around now. Oh, is he in the end? Like, uh, on my passport. Um, where is it? Oh, I can't use it. Anyway, on my passport, I have a little phrase. And, uh,. That's what I would say if I talked, if somebody else talked to me. Anyway, uh, cool octopus villager. That is a really cool villager. Anyway, the character is here, so, uh, the house must be close. Ooh, is the house on the beach? Because, uh, yeah, like, uh, like the warning said, uh, we can go into the houses... Yeah, I don't fancy... Oh, look at this area. Fancy schmancy. Anyway, I don't really fancy going into uh, any of the villagers' houses, but I do fancy... Oh, it looks like he has a, a gold HHA trophy. Oh, did you see? Look, my... Br like, uh, you can see the icy, like, breath uh, coming from my mouth or whatever it's called. Like a fog. Anyway, I want to see uh, this person. Oh, look in the corner! The island is uh, snowy. Oh, look. Um, this person actually has something I don't. A koi model. I don't have that yet. Anyway, shell lamp. This is pretty cool. I want a picture of a villager. And I and I have that antique font. Anyway, let's let's check out some of the uh, this person's rooms. Oh, a nice, a nice bathroom. Oh, this is, this is nice. Wow. Like, look at that. That is, oh, that looks so nice. I just, I want to go. Oh, that just looks so, like, um, this island is amazing. Oh, a piano. Oh, um, a uh, KK poster. That's cool. Anyway, uh, what was I think? What was I saying? I forgot. Uh, anyway, oh look, uh, pictures of all this character's villagers. I mean, uh, his all of his villagers. On oh, like the nice little bedroom. This is nice. Yeah. So, and this island is really good. Um. A lot better than my island, at least in my opinion. It looks like the plat. This oh yeah, the fireworks wall. I just noticed that. Um. So yeah, this care the uh, this person just decorated their house today. Anyway, kitchen, nice little kitchen. So yeah, this this house is really nice. I still forgot what I was gonna say earlier. Anyway, ooh, lucky cat. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get one of those. Anyway, uh, upstairs. What's upstairs? I'm just giving myself a house tour. Oh, so this is a nice little room. Oh, and I have a computer and a switch, and yeah, this is a nice little study, I guess. Anyway, one more room to downstairs, and then we'll check out some of the, more of the outside, outdoor, outside stuff. I mean, um, oh, oh, it looks like they have a extra lobster here. Oh, that like that lobster in the museum was really cool. Oh, I can spin that. <laughs> cool. So, is this like a little eating area? Mm, nice. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I just noticed like there's a sign that says like don't touch the lobster. At least that's what it's implying. It probably doesn't actually say that. It just says exclamation point in a triangle. Anyway, yeah, that's a that's a nice house. I'm uh excited to see more of this island. Nice fountain. Residential services. All right, we will, we were here before. Uh, it's down here. 
beach up here a little like a workout area wow this person has a lot of good ideas like a lot a rocket ship you, you can't even launch it though oh wait a second could I craft in uh uh, this town. Because could I, like, catch a fish? Potentially. Oh, there's another villager. I'm not going to talk to all the villagers. Anyway, wait. What happens if I shake this tree? Could a stick come out? Oh, yes, a stick did come out. I just want to see what happens if I craft a fishing rod and catch a fish. Because I want to see, will it get added to my Critterpedia? Could I use this to get every creature faster? Anyway, is there a crafting bench somewhere around here? Um, I thought I saw one over here. Oh, I bet there was one inside the house. So, yeah, let's go back in there. Sorry, I just want to see if, like, I'm doing this for, for, for science. Anyway, there is a crafting table here, but can I even use the crafting table? No, I cannot. So yeah, I can't use the crafting table, which means, uh, yeah, I can't fish. Unless somebody left out a fishing rod, I, I, I can't fish. Anyway, well, let's look at the map again. What, uh, what sort of s more stuff is there? Um... Like, so much to this island. Like, how about we, uh... Um, head over to... Uh, like, I see, I see a heart-shaped pond, and I want to see what that is. Let's head over there. We're back here, like... I remember this, like... We've been here before. Oh, look at the weeds! Like, they're icy! Icy weeds. That's, that's chill pretty chill oh look flowers like oh I can't even get up there cuz it's the second level but oh I be our mole cricket like that's a throwback cuz it hasn't been a while since I heard one of those anyway we're up here oh here's the heart-shaped pond literally just a heart-shaped pond look what we can do it doesn't affect anybody's island to do just do this So yeah, this doesn't um, affect anybody's island, so don't worry. Oh, um, and there's a tomb up here. Uh, okay, back to the flowers. Woo! Woohoo! That was a little weird. Oh, it's the moon. Wow. <laughs> so it's like literally the moon. There's so much stuff that I'm seeing that I haven't ever seen before on this island. Shell, some sort of shell thing right there. like more villagers yeah this is definitely really cool <laughs> I didn't even mean to uh, say a joke there this is really cool <laughs> but we're back towards the museum yeah I, there should be like a dream app so you could return to the dreams uh, that you've been to before if you want to come back well what is that like how is that possible because oh is that, is that on the what's on the back side of the ammonite hmm, interesting oh wait could I buy stuff from the store and it somehow gets shipped to me oh look at the little snowman outside the store oh, I can't wait for winter Due to unusual circumstances, we will be closed today. Nook's cranny. Well, it's better for what, than what they said um, in New Leaf. They said, like, in New Leaf, which is the previous game, by the way. They said in New Leaf, like, th th this, this, uh, this building is temporarily closed forever. Temporarily closed forever, and I... 
Yeah, it was pretty confusing, but still a little funny. Anyway, I can just run through these flowers and not have a care in the world. Anyway, yeah. I think, oh, a fossil door plate. A snowman, like, there is so much stuff that I that is ha going to happen in winter, and I can't wait for it. A bear sculpture up here. Like, I think I've seen most of the island. Wait, uh, ooh, let's see what the bulletin board has. Uh, oh, just, uh, um, one, day one, baby. Uh, okay, I have, like, uh, okay. Um, th that was nice. Anyway, oh, look at this little thing down here. Oh, like, oh, it acts like I, oh, like, Look at, there's a butterfly. How? It's freezing. And yeah, there's a snowflake. I can't wait for those. Anyway, can I go in here? Oh, it's not available. Anyway, yeah, I think, uh, I think I've, uh, I think, I think I want to leave now. Uh, I've, seen, I've, I've gone over all the basics, I feel like. You can, you can, uh, look at other people's museums for, for not much reason at all. You can also, uh visit their houses and look at their bulletin boards and talk to their villagers and yeah that, that's basically the basics so yeah um we're gonna i think i'm gonna do this uh more in the future but for now let, let, let's let's go back to bed i mean let's wake up is it time to wake or shall i press the snooze bar and let you stay um i want to wake up Splendid. Please close your eyes and relax. Now imagine the shrill sound of an alarm clock. When you open your eyes, you will be in your bed and I will be gone. Until then, Jack. Oh, look at me, like, uh, sprawled out. You know what? Let's turn the lights back on, but not all of them. It's so weird without all the sound. Right. I'm at least turning the music back on. Anyway, so yeah, that's the, the dream suite, and I'm feeling a little tired now. Anyway, there was, uh, uh another thing. Like, I said earlier that you could uh, craft a King Tut's mask, and the way you do that is by hitting a gold nugget. I mean, getting a gold nugget. Like, you hit it out of a rock, and, uh, if, wait, if you hit rocks, you can, you have a chance to get a gold nugget. So, yeah, um, if, if, you, if you do that, now you'll get the recipe for, for uh, the King Tut mask. So yeah, just wanted to explain that. I don't think I'll do that this episode because this episode is getting a little lengthy. All right, what I want to do is I want to set up another bridge slash incline. So, um, uh, that we can get that working because villagers can actually pay money uh, to it, to the cause. But it takes a really long time for them to actually get any prog progress with it. Anyway, anything over here or here? Did I check the song? Yeah, I, I did. It was wandering, right? Yeah, it was wandering. Anyway, I, now, now I can check the Nook Miles achievement. Ooh! Access your wardrobe and change your look! I- there's- well, really? There's no- that was it? There was no Nook Miles achievement for- I was just joking there, but I guess that was really- Come on! There's no- there's no actual Nook Miles achievement for dreaming? Maybe you have to do it multiple times. Ah, uh, Jack. Hello, hello. It's a bit lame. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? Um, hey, we can hold a ceremony. Oh, you want to take part in a ceremony, Jack? 
Right now, we'd like to celebrate the completion of our new incline. Interested? I sure am. Splendid. Let's get started. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at everybody. Now then. Oh, and Peaches is on the incline. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Jacktown's brand new incline. Unlike there's a Bosch little pith in the background. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Jacktown is developing wonderfully, yes, yes? More like, thanks to Jack's tireless efforts. I do hope we can continue making great strides to improve the overall quality of our precious island. Woo! Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions toward seeing this incline built. I'm talking about resident rep Jack. Anything to add? Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Jack. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the button. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Jacktown's beautiful incline. Hooray! I just want to say how good this scene is, like with the golden roses and the toy place and Jack's Park and the Able Sisters and the Godzilla statue in the fountain. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Yes, it does. Please do take care on your way home. I've been like playing for an hour now. Well, it's a special episode. That's okay. I want to check if uh, the Ammonite or whatever fossil that was actually looks like that from the back or they just got a special item so uh, wait do I actually do I have one in my house I don't think so anyway I probably have some in my storage Ooh! down to the dino section of my storage yeah ammonite here's one anyway uh is it like that from the back? Oh yeah, that's cool. See, so, yeah, I, di I didn't notice that until. Sa thank you, random person on the internet. I I I, I don't think I, t I don't think I checked uh, what that person's name was, but <laughs> okay, thank you. That might be useful in the future. Anyway, I want to set up an a bridge. And then we'll end this super long episode. Super long dream special. Oh, and by the way, sorry if I got a little carried away with the museum thing. I just really like seeing the museum and a lot of forms. Um, anyway, let's, let's finally do this. I'm still wearing my eye mask. I just noticed that. Ah, uh, Jack. Hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you? Let's talk infrastructure. Let's chat. There are a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? About bridges slash inclines. Bridges and inclines, hmm? How can I help you? I would like to build a bridge, because we've been building so many inclines. Let's do a bridge. Let's change it up a notch. Oh, you'd like to build a new... You'd like a new bridge, hmm? Yeah, yes. Bridges are a good way to connect land separated by rivers. Go ahead and pick one from our catalog, please. Okay, so we have normal log bridge. Nah. Yeah. Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Red Zen bridge. Like, there's so much stuff to choose from. Uh. How about a lovely normal stone bridge? Cause like, this is like the classic traditional stone bridge we have to have one on the island and I know exactly where I want to put it yes please before I do anything else though like uh I could take the eye mask off I mean like 
Come on, I can't, I can't see. I can't see. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Luna returned all my, uh, items. I forgot to mention that. Wait, do I still have those sticks? No. Anyway, right, right, right. Okay, back here. Right here would be a perfect spot for a bridge, I feel like, because, I mean, we need to get rid of some flowers here so they don't get smushed by the construction. But still, I feel like it'll be worth it because, like, I need to use my vaulting, like, I always get get out, it, it, it'll just be a lot of time saved getting out my vaulting pole. But... Until it's built, it'll just be a lot of, um, it'll just be there, and it'll, and, like, the, like, I, and this, and, like, being in such an inconvenient place would make it so I would pay it off faster, so that, lo the Lloyd thing won't, wouldn't be there for long, because it's so inconvenient. So it's going to be convenient after it's built, um, and inconvenient before it's built. Anyway, I need I need a fruit to pick up something, and I don't want to do it for my orchard, even though that's technically its purpose. Um, what I want to do it is just from a normal tree, so my orchard can still look good. I'm only gonna use my uh, orchard for desperate situations. Yeah, the dream suit is a nice addition. I um, I can't wait to do to um, find uh, more islands to visit, touring the entire library of dreams. It's gonna be so fun. Join us in the future for some more uh, uh dreams. Anyway, I want to put it here. For the for the convenience of getting to the store easier, let me imagine it. Okay, everything look good there. Okay, that looks like a good spot for a nice, spectacular bridge, and it's going to be very inconvenient until we get it paid off. How much money do we have? I'm going to need some money for the fireworks show, but that's still like not tomorrow, not the next day, but the next day. So, sure, I can help by donating, like, uh, not as much as possible, but. Ten thousand. There. That's a good donation. That's a good solid starter donation. I wonder what happened if the if a villager uh, actually finished off the donation, like finished off the bridge by making a donation. Like, would they tell you? Would you randomly uh, just like? Because I'm pretty sure it happens overnight. So, would you just uh, like? open the game and then you immediately start dancing that the bridge has been built. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I can't wait to do more dreams in the future. I can't wait for more excitement that this update will bring. I just... This is just so much fun. Like, it's so nice when there's new content. Wait. I just... Before we end the episode, I gotta... Um... Catch this. Because it could be big. I mean, it could be rare. Or it could be a stupid bass. Anyway. <laughs> oh, and my fishing rod broke. Anyway, uh, let's, uh... 
let's end uh the vid video in my museum that doesn't have a dung beetle or pond smelt or mitten crab or lobster or walker cicada. Ooh, but we can uh, uh, easily look into some of these tanks now. Oh, wait a second. I know exactly where to end the episode. In front of this tank. Look at this, like... Now we can just see the tank perfectly. And this is this is one of the relaxing things I come to do anytime I'm feeling stressed. I just come here and uh Oh I didn't notice that uh certain tank had plants. Well I knew it had a lot of plants when uh, you donated that other stuff. Anyway, but I didn't I didn't know I already had plants. Anyway, okay. <sighs> this is like one of my the ways that I come to relax. I just noticed, like, that all those fish just, like, went right through the angelfish. Right. Don't get distracted, Jack. This is one of the things that I come to do when I'm feeling stressed. Just look at, into this tank, so I'm glad I can look at it in a better way now. Anyway, thank you for- oh, wait, wait, I need, I need my little head to peek out. Wait, this will be perfect, watch, uh, okay, I need to have both hands on the controller. There. Perfect photo. Oh, I, for I accidentally put, turned camera off. Anyway. Thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, um, you know what? I think I want to visit more towns via dream codes. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep being awesome. Sorry, I was so uh, sorry. Uh, oh, I'm so sleepy. I can't even do some a little funny thing at the end. Uh.